Uh, we're joined right now by legal fellow for the Heritage Foundation, Hans von Spakovsky. Uh, Hans, uh, your comments on what the Democrats are trying to do here, getting rid of the filibuster. Well, they're, they're using the voting rights legislation, although I wouldn't really call it voting rights, since this legislation would actually hurt voters. I mean, it would implement dishonest elections. But they're using that as a wedge because there are a lot of other things they also want to be able to get through uh, with the filibuster rule uh, gone. But the important thing to remember here is that uh, these rules they want to put in about um, voting is based on, a, I think, one of the biggest cons that's ever been perpetrated on the American people. You know, they're claiming that votes are being suppressed, that people are not allowed to vote. All you have to do is look at the last census report on the 2020 election. We had the highest turnout since the 1992 election, even higher turnout than when Barack Obama was elected in 2008. And the turnout of all racial groups was up. So this idea that votes are being suppressed is just totally false. That's a great point. And we've also seen that Republicans, for example, in many of these states have actually pushed for more voter access. Um, but let me let me uh, get your reaction to this. Schumer, he took an aim at Republicans and their opposition in a Senate floor speech earlier today. Uh, take a listen. The big lie lives on in Republican-dominated state legislatures, where at least 19 states have passed 33 new laws that will potentially make it harder, harder, for millions to vote in our elections. They say they want to prevent fraud, and they have no evidence of fraud. We all know what they're up to. Uh, let me get your reaction uh, to his comments. As we know, he's using so much of January 6th as part of his propaganda to push forward this piece of legislation? Well, he made one false statement after another. The rules have been put in place by state legislatures, places like Texas and Florida, uh, Georgia, don't make it harder to vote. What they do is actually protect right. the security and integrity of the voting process. So they're not making it harder, harder to vote. Uh, and the idea that somehow election integrity, if you're concerned with that, that that somehow uh, is is uh, trying to keep people from voting or that somehow you're doing something against the government, that is just totally wrong. Like I said, this is really right. a con, a con that's being practiced on the American public. Well, thank you, uh, Hans von Spakovsky. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.